Alrighty guys, good morning again. It is bright and early Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. And it is James's birthday today. We are gonna age him up right away just because, okay, girl, stop. You've seen Polly's ghost before, okay? Also, Patrick is out here sleeping. We love that for him. Okay, sorry about that. He literally is always interrupting, but we're gonna go ahead and buy him a cake and age him up super early. Um, I know that it's gonna wake up the rest of the family, but like, I don't care. Um, we're gonna get this cake because I feel like, I don't know what time of year it is, but I feel like I never use the spring cake. Is it spring? It might be spring. It's fall, literally the complete opposite. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and age him up right away just because I don't want him going to school today. Um, I have plans for this family, okay? So everybody is coming to celebrate the birthday. Oh my gosh, okay. Lau, just relax, okay? There's dog ghosties all up in this house, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my gosh, sorry, I keep like hiccuping. Are you not going to celebrate your future stepson's birthday? There we go. All right, James. Let's see what you got. Honestly, I would love to grow up in a family style like this. Like, I think this would be so fun. Like, you grow up with your sister, your dad, your aunt, and your two cousins all in the same household. Like, I just think that would be super fun. Um, so since James, like, sorry James, love you, but he's not super important to the storyline, we're gonna make him clumsy. Okay, cute. And then his lifetime wish. Yes, I get it. People are, stuff is coming for stuff. Okay, I get it. Um, we're gonna make him the Ark Builder, so he needs to have two dogs, cats, horses, birds, lizards, turtles, rodents, snakes, butterflies, and beetles um because again he doesn't really matter i did write out what is going to consist of the next few days and he will actually i don't want to say like too much but he won't be living in this household for a crazy amount much longer let's just put it that way okay so let's go ahead and accept this he is now an a young adult i almost said an adult he is a young adult super exciting um who is hungry it actually looks like the entire house is hungry um except i'm gonna have her just step away to take a shower first um but everyone's gonna go ahead and eat some cake um all that fun stuff maybe if we can get through here yeah okay i get it i get it we're all in the way we're all trying to go do stuff Oh my god. Princess, you are the last person who needs to be in here. Get out. Get out. Oh my gosh. Princess. Okay. Um, so, I am going to really quickly, off camera, I'm going to give James a makeover. And then somebody's part of the family is going to travel somewhere sometime. You'll see. Actually, can he even... Yeah, he can travel. The only people that can't travel is um, Scarlett and Blake because they still have this little thing, which means that they have to... Um, yeah, she's still recovering from a previous vacation. So I'm going to do a makeover and a couple other things off camera, and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So this is Mr. James's makeover. Well, this is Mr. James's makeover, and I just wanted to say he looks like the spitting image of Baylor. Like if Baylor was a blonde, it's literally James. Um, James has darker eyes, he has his mother's eyes, but he has his father's lips to the T. Um, basically his father's nose, his is a little bit wider than his father's. His father's eye shape, but his mother's eye color, and he's blonde instead of a redhead. Like literally spitting image i absolutely love it so i'm sure you guys can already tell we are not at home anymore we're actually in china we are back in china and we took the entire um well this side of the kirkland family so baylor is back in china with his fiance who is from china and his two children i just had to triple check that we brought the right kids <laughs> 
Um, and his two children, James and Taryn. Taryn is being your typical teenager on vacation. She's like, I am too good for this. Oh, my God, look at her. She literally looked like she was rolling her eyes. Put your head back up. Yep, she's like a typical teenager on vacation. She's like, I'm just going to play on my phone. It's fine. Are you guys still sitting next to each other? I did not take a screenshot like I should have. James, get back here. Get back here, James. I want to take a picture. Don't move. Oh, my God, you bastard. Go here. Go here. All right. I need a picture of how freaking identical these guys are. I love how Lau's in the background thinking about using the toilet. Super cute. Um, so does Lau have any living family? She has two brothers. Oh, yeah. Her one brother who... <laughs> whose dad is a freaking cat. I don't know, you guys. Um, I want to go ahead and I don't know if we even can. We can. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw a party. And obviously, it's going to be a wedding party. That is the whole reason we are here. We're going to do a 1 p.m. wedding casual attire. Um, obviously, we need to invite her siblings. We'll just invite everyone, honestly. Like, who cares? Um, so yes, that is why we came to China. We came here so that they could have their wedding. Um, I just feel like since Lau is kind of giving up her whole life by moving to, um, you know, Appaloose Plains or moving to the States to be with Baylor, it just makes sense for them to have a traditional Chinese wedding. Also, I didn't really show you James's fit very well. I did his makeover extremely quickly because like I told you earlier, um, he's not going to be an extremely important part of this Let's Play. I mean, he doesn't have a whole lot longer here regardless, so um, not a big deal, but I am just going to have everyone come up and come out here. Um, I think I want them to maybe get married out on this balcony here. So it's kind of overlooking all of China. Or maybe is there a better... Maybe this balcony up here, actually. So they're more like... I don't know. Or maybe all the way up here. No, just kidding. I think we're going to do it right over here is where I'm going to have them get married. Um, so maybe let's... You're joking. Um, ha! Huh fooled ya. <laughs> Technically, you're not supposed to be able to go into builder by mode, but uh, we're doing it. We're freaking doing it. So I'm going to make it very, very casual, very just quick and simple. Um, we're going to do a wedding arch, a little table for the cake, and then just the radio so that they can party and stuff. So let... <laughs> just kidding. Apparently, I cannot buy wedding arch. <gasps> oh, my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> How did we even throw a wedding party? Because that is technically a generations thing, no? Is it not? I could have sworn it was. Um, just kidding. <laughs> They're gonna have a super freaking casual wedding, apparently. Um, wow, I feel like an idiot. I feel like a freaking idiot. How did I not, like, think about this you know like how did I not just like literally use my freaking brain I don't I don't I don't know guys um let's go ahead and give her a kiss give her an amorous hug and then we're also going straight into trying for a baby um you guys were a hundred percent on board with them having a child you thought you know it was um you thought it would be perfect if they had a child. So we're going to have them try for a baby. These guys are going to chat a little bit. They are brother and sister, but they don't... I mean, like, they're friends. If they weren't half-siblings, they would definitely show up as friends. But I feel like they should just know each other a little bit better. Um, so let's go ahead and tell her a funny story. Let's see. Is Taryn straight? I have no idea. She is straight. Good to know. Um... Let's have you ask him some questions also. Ask about his day, ask about his gender preference, gossip with him, enthuse about animals, all the fun stuff. Off they go to make a baby. Super cute. We love that for them. Is James straight? I have no idea. 
He is. Perfect. Honestly, I could see James also being bisexual, like Scarlett is, but I could also see James being um, asexual as well. Um, but again, he's moving out soon, so we'll just kind of let the game decide, mostly. All right, here we go. Let's make sure she gets pregnant, because they are trying for a baby. They're not just risky. He wants to serenade her. Does he have his guitar with him? He does not. How unfortunate. All right, you guys, and Lau is officially pregnant. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? Listen, why are you insulting him? Stop it. Oh my gosh. Come over here and dance, all of you. Come over here and dance. She is complimenting his appearance. She's like, we gonna have the most beautiful little baby. I promise you. He's like, oh yeah, honey, I already knew. I been knew. Yeah, they're gonna have a cute kid, I think. I hope. <laughs> I really hope they have a cute baby. All right, so, sorry, that was my phone. Let's have them slow dance together. It is their wedding night, you know? Um, are you gonna be able to hear the music in there still? Can you stop that? I cannot make her stop. That's annoying. Well, I want them to slow dance. I also really want her brothers to show up to the party. I don't know if they're going to, which is kind of unfortunate. But they're slow dancing at their wedding. How cute. Do these kids show up as family for her yet? I don't think so. They do not. Oh, who's this? Is this your brother? Hello? No. That's a woman. Okay. That's unfortunate that so far her siblings are not here. Stop. I want to see who you are. Nope. Not your family. Let's go ahead and answer the phone call. Okay. Old ladies hitting on James. We love to see it. Why don't you actually come over here and, like, get to know him? Um, compliment his dancing. No, it's literally my wedding day. Like, leave me alone. All right, let's see. What are her brother's names again? I forget. Um, Lang and Bo. Okay, so this is... This is her brother. Is he older or... I can't remember. He's older. Okay, so she has an older brother. Are you freaking kidding me? No. Leave your future stepmom alone. Like, you're disgusting. Freaking disgusting. All right. Um, let's tell him a funny story. And enthuse about our wedding. You can ask about his career, ask his sign, ask if he's single, tell him a funny story, um, confess your attraction for his sister, because I'm sure he wants to hear that so desperately. Um, okay, her other brother is here, so that's perfect. We'll go get to know him. I don't know where he is, is the issue, but I'm sure he'll show up at some point. He's an Aquarius. That's a compatible sign. We love to see it. Um, okay. Let's switch up a little bit and come over here and chat with Taryn. I really want you and Taryn to be friends also. We'll enthuse about comic books, enthuse about our wedding, tell her a funny story. Um, tell her how much you love her father, gossip with her, all that stuff. Oh. Okay, let's apologize because he does not like you. And let's come over here and introduce ourselves to her younger brother. This is her first time we're meeting him. You know, it's kind of funny. She has a sibling younger than both of his children. Um, let's get to know him. Let's talk about dogs. Let's make a silly face at him and talk about cats. 
Let's see. You know nothing about him. We love that. Absolutely love that. Oh, okay. She did not like that. Let's um, brighten her day again. Funny story. Gossip with her. This is good. They're just like really getting to know each other's families. I love it. Um, trade local gossip. Talk about star new name. I don't know what that is. And just chat. Oh my gosh, they're friends. They're friends. They're friends. This is what I have wanted. Um, now she needs to become friends with James. Where did James go? James is right here. Oh, wait, hold on. Can we like hug her or anything? No, but they're friends and that's what matters. Okay, come over here. Let's brighten his day. Let's tell him a funny story. Um, discuss adventures. I just want them to be friends. I want you guys to be friends too. Her older brother was not feeling it, but maybe you can befriend her younger brother. Okay, friends. Perfect. Friends. Perfection. I need you guys to run upstairs now. I need all of you to go upstairs. Get upstairs. And it's time to get married. The wedding party started at 1. Okay, we're four hours into the wedding. I think it's time for the wedding to actually take place. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about that. All right, James, are you almost here? Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and get married. There's not a wedding arch here, so that's unfortunate. So I don't know if they will even, like, watch. I don't know how that works if there's... Sorry, that's my phone again. Um, my fantasy football. Okay, gather round, gather round. Perfect. They're actually going to watch. Um... Okay, I was like, wait, are you getting married? Like, what's going on? Look at how pretty this is. Uh, like, yeah, they're in their casual clothes, so like, eh, you know? But like, just look how pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this. They're so cute. And then if we flip it this way, oh, sorry, I had something like in my throat. Um, if we flip it this way, yeah, they're looking at, like, a house or whatever, but... oh, Look at James in the background crying. And her brother. Taryn's all the way over here tucked in a corner, but we don't have to talk about that. And her last name is about to become Kirkland. She's going to be Lau Kirkland. <laughs> That's not going to fit her at all, but it is what it is. Okay, we don't have to talk about it. Baylor just exchanged rings with Lau. He will never forget the day he committed himself to his sweetheart. Look at Taryn. Oh, I love her. She's so happy for them. Hold on. I think it'd be perfect if I could, like, see her right in between them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And Lau's brother is, like, giving him the side eye. That's funny. All right, you guys, the kiss. Oh, they're so cute. I love this. Baylor's finally getting his happily ever after, and I am so happy. Vi no, you're literally on vacation. Baylor and Lau. Oh my god. She. Ha no. No, because I'm obsessed with that. I am going to change Taryn's last name back to just regular Kirkland um, because I feel like that doesn't not reset. Um, hold on. Rename. Okay. I kind of like the idea that these two decided to hyphenate, but I do want the kids to keep just straight Kirkland, just because, um, I mean, James is literally a young adult, and Taryn is like 10 days away from being a young adult, I believe, so it doesn't really make sense for her to change her name to match her stepmom, you know what I mean? Like, it would make more sense if they were like, you know, children when the marriage happened, but 
yeah so um we're gonna come down here we're gonna just have quick meals of some soup because we're lazy um you can have some ice cream you guys can have some ice cream oh oh i love that they're all glitched amazing thanks thanks for being glitched get down here and have your soup <clears throat> but they're officially married Baylor is Sen Kirkland now instead of just Baylor Kirkland he is Baylor Sen Kirkland how cute is that okay can you eat finally he keeps screaming about how he can't get to the freaking fridge okay no don't open oh my gosh have your quick meal of ice cream Lau, why don't you come upstairs really quickly, use the bathroom, and then relax. And Baylor, you're going to follow pretty much the same path. Um, I know Lau is already pregnant, but um, I'm going to have them try for a baby again anyways, just because, like, it's their, it's their wedding night. You know, that's what they do. That's what they do. Okay. Um, also, I was planning on having them spend a day here in China and, like, explore and everything, but I actually think I'm just gonna send them home. I know that probably sounds strange because it's so early. Um, oh my gosh. That probably sounds strange because it's so early, but we have explored China so many times. Like we already know exactly what China has to offer and we are actually done with it on our exploring list. We need to do like Egypt and France now. Um, so I think it just makes sense to, I'll, honestly, I'll probably send them home like as soon as I end this part, which I know sounds really weird, but the next part is going to be really exciting. There's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot going on. Let me just triple check. Okay, that happened, that we're skipping. Yeah, there's so much that's gonna be going on in the next part, so I'm really excited for that. So, um, let's try for a baby again, because, you know, maybe the more they try for a baby, the more chances are they'll have twins. I think that'd be kinda cool if they had twins. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know by giving it a big thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing. And I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.